My name is Carrie Brashears, and I was a volunteer at Unity of Springfield Cold Weather Crisis Center. And I worked the hospitality shift uh, one to two days a week, usually on Mondays and Thursdays. My name is Mitch Brashears. I normally worked an overnight shift also at Unity of Springfield for the Cold Weather Crisis Shelter. My name is Adam Hieronymus. I am currently volunteering at the East Sunshine Cold Weather Shelter, but I've also volunteered at Vets, the Pitts Chapel Meal Ministry, and at Eden Village too. I have been volunteering since the 2020 season, so this would be my fourth. I went to volunteer just for a two hour shift and quickly got hooked and the rest is history. My name is Tom Ryan and I volunteer at the Men's Shelter at East Sunshine Church of Christ. I have worked in a lot of volunteer efforts uh, throughout the Springfield community since I've retired and uh, it just seemed like a natural extension of what I do. Usually get here right about six o'clock. Um, like I said, my daughter would usually take the take the snack tray and load it all up. Um, and I would go into the kitchen, get the hot water going. We'd always have a big pot of hot water and then make coffee. Um, usually make a couple pots of coffee because um, you know, they're cold when they get here and they want to warm up. And so that's what we would do first. And then we would just check and make sure that all the cots had blankets and pillows. Uh, make sure everybody had cups and spoons on their cots. Um, and then we would just wait until the guests got here. So usually that only took about maybe 20 minutes to get everything set up from the time we got here. Once we got everybody checked in and we were all full, we would usually come back and serve food if we had a hot meal to serve. And so we would serve food um, and just kind of make sure everybody was settled in. We'd greet everybody and just kind of walk around, chat with them a little bit and see if anybody needed anything. Then just kind of wait for the overnight guys to get here. And you guys usually got here between 8.30 and 9. Yep, a little bit overland. And, you know, once they got here and got settled in, then we kind of head on out. So pretty straightforward. We had two people as a general rule that stay overnight and kind of work a a dual shift sort of thing. Uh, so one person kind of considered a 10 to two shift and a two to six shift. So um, we just, uh, you know, sort of a little bit of crossover. Somebody wants to go back, we have a cot in the back, go back and settle in for a few hours. Other person just, you just hang out and take care of anything that may come up. About six o'clock, flip on the uh, half the lights just to sort of ease in and that start making coffee. So the flip side coffee was clean from the previous night and coffee gets started for the morning. Uh, and that's basically it right there. We go ahead and get coffee, get people up, give about a half an hour, bus to start running after that and try and get everybody pulled together. The guests at East Sunshine generally respond very positively to the shelter workers. They're very appreciative. The vast majority of the guests usually just want to go and fall asleep. But you know, I, I'm gonna tell you it's a challenge sometimes, but the rewards of uh, what you do and how what you're doing it for and who you're doing it for really to see those challenges you know trying to one night a week uh, stay awake all night long and and work that that's somewhat difficult you know and you always look at some of the challenges that you may have with some of the clients that are using that facility um you know i've never felt a threat uh you know i think you stay on top of it and you address some of the issues early and it just seems to it really does flow easy East Sunshine is always looking for additional volunteers, so I think if someone was interested in that shelter in particular or the other cold weather shelters in general, just say, come by, give it a try, see what it's like, and I think odds are it's going to be something that you'd be interested in doing. I really have enjoyed participating in this for the last four years. I think that's what sticks in my head the most is just how grateful people were to have a warm place to go, to have some food to eat. Uh, so many thank yous, just so much gratitude. I never felt threatened by anyone and was able to, to really get to know these people over the course of the winter. And, you know, there's there's a part of you that hopes you get to see them again the next time, but then you're like, well, no, I hope they find a home, of course, and, and they don't need a shelter. But um, just getting to know the people and, and, you know, understanding that they are, you know, they're trying, they're out there every day working and trying, and they're just grateful to have a place to come. Don't feel like you've got to sign up for the entire season or, or commit into it. You can give it a trial run and see what you think. It just is a, it's a good thing to do. I mean, it's an mm -hmm. extremely needed, very necessary thing in our community and uh, anybody can do it. There is a good feeling there uh, that you did something meaningful for our community. Uh, you look at the clients that we serve, uh, a lot of those are, they have nowhere else to go. And, uh, you know, that's what drives me is making sure that we serve that community that 
that Selwyn looks sometimes. <laughs>